How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be the best X factors I get right now. My top 10 I'd say right now ones that you kind of have to have on your team. Again, you don't want to have a full team of X Factors because, I mean, if you have a full team of X Factors, then guess what? You have to upgrade all those guys. And it's going to cost a lot to do that, which, I mean, yeah, from Hut Champs, you can get them in other ways, but not many ways. So, again, you don't have too many, but these are the best ones to me, the top 10 that you should be getting uh, if, if you really want to, like, you know, have success on your team this year, right? So, no order. No order, by the way. Um, we're going to start getting into, into it right now. So starting off with the first card that I want to mention, it's going to be John Carlson, okay? John Carlson's X-Factor. So why do I want to mention him, all right? So right now, actually, at tier number uh, 10, he's 88 overall, okay? So what am, I, what, what, am I, what am I going for here? Well, 87 Excel, 88 speed, 85, 93, 85, 90 for a shot, 90 speed, though, with the distributor, which he does have. Uh, if, if you switch to this, of course, you have it unlocked at tier two. So uh, I would definitely, definitely do that. Uh, consider that for sure. Uh, distributor is really, really nice. 90 speed, 6-3 D-man, 215 is very, very good. So yeah, I mean, I think definitely John Carlson's a really, really good one. So definitely consider him uh, for your team, guys. He would be huge. All right, now moving on to the next card now. Uh, it's going to be Kale Makar, okay? And the reason why... So, I'm, I'm going to kind of explain why each card, right? So, Makar, for me, due to the fact that he's obviously cooking, and he's he just got an 87 overall, so his next upgrade will be 88. Like, his next card, primetime team of the week, whatever it may be. So, Makar will be getting an upgrade, and it will be a speed upgrade. So, Makar will be getting up to 93 Excel and 93 speed as well, which is really, really nice. So, that's why I think Makar is definitely an underrated one. So, uh, one that I would, I would definitely tell you guys... Uh, to get, I mean, I, I think he's extremely, extremely good. So, Kale McCarr, 88 overall coming up soon. Uh, right now, he's bombarded and thief synergies, but still, that's fine. He's going to be really, really good. So, uh, moving on to the next one now. I mean, this is an obvious one. You can never really go wrong with this guy. Mick David, right? 93, I have him up to. 96 XL, 96 speed. I have the thief and protector synergy active on him right now. I also have wheels active as a zone ability, so... Again, I think it's a smart play, personally. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think McDavid definitely could use that. So, yeah, he's uh, he's outstanding. I mean, he's such a good card. I mean, look at his stats for me. As you can see, they kind of explain themselves, right? 147 goals in 181 games, right? But those assists make it even crazier, those numbers, right? So, yeah, I mean, Connor McDavid is uh, really, really good. So, definitely recommend this card. I mean, again, obvious, right? It's kind of an obvious one. But McDavid, of course, having another crazy, crazy good season. So, yeah. Moving on to the next card now. This guy just came back his first game last night. So, he's another one that's due. McKinnon is eligible for two, a plus two this month. So, McKinnon can get to a 91 overall. So, his next upgrade will be a speed upgrade as well. So, we get to 93 speed and 93 excel, which is really, really nice. His shot will get up to a 92, 95, 93, 92. Uh, again, if you have Bombarded active and... Uh, thief that is of course, but really really nice really really nice I have the wheels ability active on him. He is unbelievable so fast and so fun to use so yeah I mean there's really not much more uh, to say. I mean unbelievable McKinnon is such a good card. So Definitely would recommend him to you guys. I mean, I, I feel like this is the time to get him too You know, he's gonna go up and overall pretty imminently. So yeah, he's he's fantastic all right, now moving on to the next card that, again, maybe some people don't really think of. And again, it's not even me being biased as a Devils fan. This card really is good. And, I mean, the more upgrades he's going to get, is going to be even better. So, Dougie Hamilton right now, okay, with Fly the Zone active, has 89 speed. Uh, he has 88 Excel, 86 Agility, 87 Balance, 88 Endurance, 87, 89, 85, and 88 for his shot. So, the thing about Hamilton is, keep this in mind, right? So, with Fly the Zone active, now he has 89 speed, right? So, Dougie Hamilton... At 99 overall, we'll have 96 speed. 660, man. 229. 96 speed. And Hamilton, you can say what you want. He will get to 99 more than likely. I mean, by year's end. And even if he doesn't get to 99, even at like 94 overall, he's still going to be a very fast D-man. I'll be like 92 speed, 93 speed. So, very, very good. Uh, for a 6-6 D-man, and that's what you really want. I mean, you want you want big defensemen, ideally, that have speed, because, I mean, how can you defend against that, and how can you beat that, really, as a, you know, forward, right? So, yeah, Dougie Hamilton is such a good card. 
And I think Hamilton definitely has to be recognized as one of the top 10 cards, X Factors right now, uh, to get. I really do believe that. So, yeah, Hamilton, it's mostly his speed that really is, is unbelievable and his size, but his shot's not terrible either. His abilities, I'm not crazy about these abilities. I don't think they're really that important. So, it is what it is, right? Uh, this next card is honestly a one that, that when I do my next X Factor pack, I'm really hoping for. This is kind of the only X Factor that I'm really looking for, I'd say right now. It's Alexander Ovechkin, 91 overall. All right, so 91 overall. He just got a new tier unlocked yesterday, right? Uh, and right now, Ovechkin, if you have uh, Distributor active on him, he will have 90 speed. All right, 88 Excel. Yeah, that's not great, but. I mean, his shot's 95, 97, 95, and 96. I mean, that is ridiculous, obviously. I mean, there's not much more you can say than, wow, that's really, really good. So, yeah, Ovechkin at 91 overall is uh, no joke at all. Such a good card. Ovi always has a fun, fun card to use. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say than this card is absolutely insane. So, Ovechkin definitely is your guys. I mean, definitely is your guy, guys. I mean, trust me, he's... Probably the best, uh, one of the best right-handed wingers in the game right now, easily. So, yeah, I love him. Uh, so, and obviously he's on a crazy pace this year. So, Ovechkin, possible team of the year coming up for him as well. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. Team of the year last year was in January. So, he could get into, like, a 93 potentially quick. So, just watch out for that. The next one I want to talk about is Nikita Kucherov. So, you guys are probably saying, but Henrik, he's only 88 overall. 88 overall, Henrik. That's not that good. And when's he coming back? I have heard rumors that Kucherov will be back by the new year. So next month, uh, he will get some upgrades. And my gut is telling me that Kucherov will get some type of card this month regardless. To get him doing 89 overall at least. So that's just my gut telling me that though. I have no, no actual proof in that. But 92 Excel, 91 speed. Uh, no speed upgrade for his next overall, but that's okay. Uh, he's really good, Kucherov. I mean, he always plays well in game. 5'11", 179, 93, 89, 94, and 89 for his shot. I mean, what can you say? I mean, Kucherov is definitely good. Uh, his abilities aren't anything crazy. Make it snappy. I don't, I don't think I'm really using 10 points on that, I'm going to be honest. But uh, in general, Kuch, he's coming back soon. So definitely consider him for your team, all right? Now moving on to the next card, all right? The next card is going to be from the New York Islanders, all right? And it's going to be Matt Barzell, okay? So why do I like Barzell so much? So Barzell at 87 overall right now is 92 Excel, 93 speed, 88, 86, 90, and 87 for his shot. Six foot, 187. The Islanders, you got to think, will start playing better. They just kind of have to, right? Are they really that bad? I don't think so. So yeah, in my opinion, Barzell is really, really good. He's got the elite edges zone ability, which makes his skating even better, along with his 93 speed and his 92 excel. Barzell, especially if you're an Islanders fan, really, really fun card to use. So, yeah, I mean, definitely would uh, recommend him to you guys. He is just a very, very strong card. So, I want to give an honorable mention as well before this video goes because, I mean, you know, it's important to in my opinion. And I want to mention a goalie. I like to always mention a goalie, but... This goalie I gotta mention is Carey Price. Uh, people think he's the best goalie in the game. Uh, I've never used him, but every time I play against him, he is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 6'3", 220. But what makes him so good is his his uh, post to post ability. It's only four ability points as well, which is not a lot. Uh, it's exceptional boost in reaction time, recovery, and save ability when going post to post. So definitely very nice there. Um, yeah, and then the last stand as well. So Price, I mean. Seems like everybody loves him, so I mean, can't really argue that, right? So, Carey Price is uh, definitely, a t I guess this is more top 11 now, but I just kind of needed to mention a goal, but uh, in general, that's that. Uh, then the next card I'm going to mention is probably, probably going to be surprising to you guys, but I feel like this card's really underrated, all right? And it's going to be Roman Yossi X-Factor card, right? So, why do I like Yossi so much? Well, Yossi, Yossi actually has uh, Fly the Zone or Distributor as well. So, Yossi gets up to 89 speed with one of those, uh, and again, he's already 86 XL. 89 speed with that. He's a good D-man. Good good height for a D-man as well. 6'1", 201. He's not too big. And he's definitely not too small either. Uh, Yossi always plays well in game. I love this base card this year as well. I would definitely not have a problem using this card at all. So, yeah, Roman Yossi, definitely a good card. And, uh, yeah, I mean, with Protector Active, gets his shot to even be better. So, yeah, Yossi's an underrated one to me. I, I, think, I think you guys should definitely consider getting him. And it would be huge for your team because he's a good left-handed D-man. Good size and... Just good, good stuff all around. And his abilities, I mean, 
mostly offensive, right? Right. It's not really anything uh, too crazy when it comes to defensive. You kind of rather have like a shutdown one, but unfortunately, that's not the case. And then for the last card I want to mention, guys, it's going to be none other than Austin Matthews. All right. So again, just because I'm not mentioning your cards videos, doesn't I mean I'm, they're not good. These to me are just a, the best ten right now. I don't know, like, like when it comes to like they're getting their upgrades kind of soon ish. So. So Matthews right now is at 91 overall. I haven't upgraded him yet there because it's not a speed upgrade yet. I might as well soon though, right? It gets to a point, right? But uh, anyway, at 91 overall, he's 88 Excel, 90 speed, 95, 95, 97, 94 for his shot. I mean, you can't really argue that. That's really, really good. So yeah, Matthews is amazing. Make it snappy is what I have on him, on him right now. Active as an ability. Uh, he's been fantastic for me. As you can see, those stats are just absolutely crazy. So yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say. He is a really, really good card, and to me, a top 10 one to get right now. Yeah, Matthews, I think he's only upgrades an 89 right now, his highest, you know, card, but Matthews still get his cards, and, uh, you know, this card will be amazing. It already is amazing, right? So, again, guys, not to say that Crosby's not good, not to say that, you know, Leon's not good, or Pasta, or Panarin. These are the ones that I really thought were really important to get right now, all right? And, like, I think these are the top 10 as of right now when it comes to, like, their future upgrades and all that stuff, so... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Try to make some decisions with your X Factor cards. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Rika 3Es. And join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.